All right, well, I'm outside of 13260 Willow Oak Circle. This is the outside of the house. And this is just a pan of the neighborhood. Really quiet neighborhood. Been standing out here for a minute just to see if it was gonna randomly get loud. It didn't. Um, all the houses seem to be in fairly good condition. Looks like the neighbor immediately across the street takes care of their yard. Looks like the next door neighbor takes care of their yard. This is to give you a little bit of an idea about how far away the houses are from each other. As you can see, it's not a fenced in yard. Otherwise you would see the fence kind of coming from the side of the house, but you could always add a fence. Uh, one thing that this house does have, um, which you'll notice is gutters. Gutters are not mandatory in the state of Mississippi. So if you have a house that has gutters, it's a great thing because it keeps the water away from your foundation and allows things to properly drain away from your roots of your house um, and allows that water to you know, not flow in front of the doors and so forth. So you do have gutters on this house. So you can see they go all the way around. Now, one thing I noticed walking up, there's a piece of siding missing here. And I'm just gonna walk up on that so you can maybe see the difference. That little lip right there, it's like one piece of siding missing. Um, you know, that would be something obviously that uh, inspection would pick up as well, just to make sure that um, that's something that gets addressed on say an inspection or whatever. But one piece of siding wouldn't stop a show. I mean, obviously you could get that replace with you know a couple dollars to home depot or Lowe's. so this is just a view of the neighborhood from the front door again very nice neighborhood very quiet looks like everybody kind of takes care of their yard maybe except that house could use some work but everybody else seems to take care of their stuff so this is the house this is the front door very cute front door there is a ring doorbell that is not staying with the property so you'll have the standard doorbell not the ring doorbell, and then we'll go in. All right, we're in the front door, and this is the view from the front door. So eight foot ceilings, and then you have a very nice, um, looks like laminate floor. Okay, to the right, you have the door to your garage. So taking a look in there, it's a two car garage. Looks like it's being used for storage right now. You have your water heater back there. And you have your attic access there as well. So that is your garage. Okay, outside the garage, you have straight ahead the hall that has the other two bedrooms. So you have a little bit of a split floor plan here. And going down this hall, you have your first bathroom here on the left, your first full bathroom. This is two bathrooms. So you have your shower tub combo, as well as your tub, your sink, your light, and your light fixture. Okay. So just um, as part of my reviews um, and walkthroughs, I do look in the sinks, um, check out the toilets, and check out the tubs. And so you can see kind of the condition they may have kept it in. It looks like they kept this place pretty clean. Um, now, obviously, on the walls, uh, this is not a brand new house, so you may have to paint. It looks like, obviously, there were kiddos here. So definitely a good coat of paint here would make this um, bathroom look good as new. Um, and as you can see there, more stuff on the walls that could use a good coat of paint as well as back here. So good coat of paint would take care of all of this. No, they're not required to paint before you get the property. How it's being shown now is the condition that it needs to be in before you receive it. So walking out of there, there's a linen closet here immediately outside of the bathroom. And then to the left, you have a bedroom as well as to the right. Now, size wise, this bedroom is pretty small. But you could easily fit a twin size bed in here and have plenty of room for a dresser, a mirror, things like that. This is a really good size for a kid's room or an office. 
So you have a reach-in closet here that is pretty deep. So just so you can see that. Just a little standard reach-in closet. And then uh, going out of this room into your next room, this room's actually much bigger. So that looks like a queen size bed. So you could easily fit a queen size bed, you know, dresser, mirror, chest of drawers, whatever combo you felt like you needed. And it looks like they maybe tried to touch up the paint in here, but didn't do that great of a job. So obviously another coat of paint in here would be necessary. Um, and you can kind of see the streaking on the walls um, from whatever they painted in here with before. So this is the view out of this window. Now this is the side of the house. Um, just so you can kind of see outside of your window what is there. And then this closet, another reach in, about the same size. So nothing special about these closets, but this bedroom is much bigger. So uh, next room. All right, so we're back in the front hallway. Your front door is to your right. And to the left is more house. So let's go. So now to the right, I'm getting ready to go that way in one moment. But you'll notice you have your washer and dryer. And then you have what looks like a walk-in closet. Now that's the walk-in closet of the primary owner suite. So... You do have access to the laundry room from the primary owner suite closet, which is an awesome feature to have um, so that you can go straight from your closet, get an undress, drop your stuff in the wash, and go. So we'll go that way in a second. But for now, I'm going to pan this living room. And you can see it's an open floor plan. You have your kitchen, your living room all open, and your dining space all open. Another thing to notice is there are tray ceilings. So a single tray above the living room. It's a very nice feature to give it a little bit of character. And going into the kitchen, all appliances stay. So this is your refrigerator, plenty of capacity, and your freezer, plenty of capacity and your ice maker and your water. And you got a little extra space right here, maybe a coffee machine, plenty of space in the cabinets. There are soft clothes, cabinets and drawers. So no slamming of cabinets or drawers, everything soft clothes. And then you have a pretty big pantry here. Now it's not necessarily a walk-in, but you can step in it you know, store your extra appliances, all your extra food. It is a fairly large pantry if you need one. And then you have granite countertops and you have your stove, microwave, dishwasher, suite, all of these are included. Okay, and again, soccer clothes. And then outside of your kitchen window doing dishes, you can look in your backyard Kind of check out things as the kids are playing. And this is your dining space. Now, a lot of the switches in here are wired to add a ceiling fan. So while there may not be a ceiling fan or light fixture there that has a ceiling fan, a lot of the uh, switches in the house are wired for that. So into your master suite. I'm just the pan around this. Now that looks like a king size bed. Already has the ceiling fan. Now it has plenty of room for a king size bed, two nightstands, a dresser, mirror, chest of drawers. If you wanted chairs and a table instead of a chest of drawers or something like that, I mean, there is plenty of room in this master suite. And then you have your restroom right off of the master suite. Again, paint, things like that could be touched up in here. Again, this is not a new home, so that is not an expectation of the current owners to paint. So just so you're aware, there are a lot of blemishes on the paint, but painting and putting it in the color that you want it is always 
an easy step. So in a master is only a single, single sink, not a double sink, but it is still a nice uh, bathroom. You have plenty of light, plenty of storage in the vanity. Nine drawers, which is a lot. You also have a tub shower combo with the glass doors. And you have the same flooring throughout and it looks like a huge soaker tub. So big soaker garden tub. And then this is just a different view of the owner suite closet. So you could easily hire a closet company to come in here and design a wooden closet so that your shelving and everything else can be more efficiently used. Um, I highly recommend that with huge closets because then you can fit so much more in the space. And then right behind the door is your water space. So your toilet area. Okay. So that is the owner suite. Again, that wraps around and is connected to the um, laundry room. In the hallway, if I didn't stop here, is a coat closet. It's not a lot of coat wearing in Mississippi, but a couple months of the year, you might need a coat or a jacket. And then over here to the left is your back door. And it looks like they added some kind of tent to it just so that it's not as see-through, but you could always add a cellular shade, you know, if you really wanted to and maximize your privacy. So just to give you an idea of the backyard, back here, you'll see a post. That post right there with the red is the property line. That post goes all the way down to, it looks like, Looks like they may have removed the post, but you can kind of see where the grass makes a T-shape. That would be where the property line ends. So it's a nice size yard, not too too big. And I want you to think just because there's not a fence here that um, this whole thing is your backyard. It is not. So where that post is to right where that uh, T in the grass is, it is a pretty big backyard. So just come out here. Give you an idea from from the property line so this is the back of the house from the property line so very cute house not much of a patio but you could always add that and that is it so I'm going to go back inside. So as you can tell, you have dog neighbors next door. Okay, so that concludes the tour. This is Willow Oak Circle. Call me and let me know what you think.